Yeah. Obviously, it's curtains for Windows 10 next year. Uh, yeah. October 2025 yeah. is when the, the extended support comes to an end. It's a, an officially AOL product. Um, so obviously, my question to you is, is kind of how is that going to impact what you're doing in terms of from businesses moving from 10 to 11? And where I'm kind of thinking there is, is there going to be a big ch shift change from kind of uh, a, a people happy within this level? Have you seen Windows 11? Oh, you obviously you've seen Windows 11, you've been using Windows 11, but, you know, in terms of, you know, is it a major change? Do you feel that's going to be quite a software incompatibility? Is, is there anything that we should be aware of or cautious of? Uh, I'm pretty certain there are some software incompatibilities, but in my experience, a lot of the, like, EXEs and MSIs that I'm using to install bits of software in different areas, it's not caused an issue. Yeah. Um, in, in personal preference, when before I'd moved on to working from a Mac, I was on Windows 11, and I moved to it as soon as it came out, um, however long ago that was. Um, but it did have a bit of a rocky start. I, I would say the first maybe six months, it wasn't the best solution to go for, but that's immediate release. Yeah. The, there's always going to be a risk that there's something that's not working when it first comes out. It's usual Microsoft thing, though, isn't it? Yeah. Where they kind of have it beta, then it's like beta plus where you've got to yeah. use it for a period, and <laughs> us as the end user, the same is going to happen with the, with the Outlook. Yeah, you know they've they've kind of baited it for a bit. Have a go, see what you think. Then they'll force it onto the end users. Want it to look good that they've got more people. Then they can go, hey, look, you know, most people are now using the new interface. Yeah. Um, and then ultimately, we'll be the one that the product testing. But yeah, um, it, it it's in a. It's, it's a thousand percent in a better place than it was when it first came out. Um, I, I, from the top of my head, I can't remember the specific issues, but I know there was little bits of things that weren't working as you'd want them to on Windows 11. Um, but it's definitely a good product now. It, it's it's a it's a step in the right direction, uh, and it's very user friendly mm -hmm. for for the way that that somebody would want to use it in the day to day working. It's 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 good good operating system.